Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you a quick demo of a game I've been working on called Brighter Shores. So I'll just play it for the beginning and then walk you through a few things. All right, so I don't have any introductory language right now, but what happens is you found a new planet that you can build your civilization on or your cities on. And, um, and yeah, so you collect resources, you craft, and you build your cities here. Um, one of the things that you're dealing with in the game, it's a calm game, there aren't any enemies or anything like that, but the planet is heavily polluted. So I can look at this pollution layer to see what's going on. So um, if I go to any resource with my ship, I right click on it, I have a collector beam, and I start collecting resources from it. Um, if I press C, I can open my cargo, and here you'll see I've been collecting seawater, and, uh, but with, with the seawaters, I've been get seawater, I've been getting some plastic waste uh, with it. Over time, if I keep doing this, I'll eventually clean all the plastic waste or other waste out of, out of the tiles, but there are more efficient ways of doing that. Uh, but so here I have waste and seawater, in my ship, I have two things, two tools that I can use. One is a combinator, one is a refiner. So these can alternatively break down a resource or combine two resources into something new. So if I drag my salt water or seawater down into uh, the refiner, it'll break it up into fresh water and salt. And then I can keep going. I can drag the salt down here and it'll break it down to the elemental level to sodium and chlorine. And I can drag fresh water and it'll take it to hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, the plastic waste I can do this with as well, and it'll convert it to plastic that I can use, and then organic waste, which I need to break down even further to carbon and nitrogen. Uh, but so once I have these uh, different you know, resources, I can then also combine them into things that are more useful. So if I um, put, for instance, hydrogen and chlorine down here, it'll create hydrochloric acid, um, which you know, might be useful for a variety of things down the road. Uh, so all this takes energy though, so you see my battery is getting lower and lower. So one of the first things I need to do is build an energy source. So I'm going to uh, build a couple of wind turbines. And then build some up here on the land as well. Um, so you see these are producing energy. And then I can right click on them to draw energy out. Okay. So I can collect resources with my ship, I can uh, break them down, I can refine them, or I can build new things. Uh, but I can also build buildings that do this for me. So if I want to, uh, say I want a building that collects sand, uh, I'm gonna put this extractor here on top of the sand. You see it's producing sand. Um, it actually needs power, so let me give it some power. So I'm just connecting it to my power network. So see how my wind turbines here are producing power and my extractor has power and it's producing sand. Okay, so but let's say that I want a, um, I want to break the sand apart that it's producing. I can do that in my ship, but more efficiently I can create a system here that does it for me. So I'm gonna build a refiner, put it right here. And I'm gonna tell the refiner to take the sand from the extractor and break it apart. Now notice the refiner's not doing anything yet because it needs power, it has no power. So to give it power, I just need to connect it to the power network and there it goes. So it's starting to break the sand down into silicon and oxygen. Um, now, when it runs out of sand though, it'll just stop. So to prevent it from stopping or to allow it to continuously work, I need to connect it to the extractor uh, so they can share resources. So to connect resources, I just build roads. So I'm going to build roads between these two. So now my refiner is pulling sand directly from the extractor. So whenever the extractor produces it, it goes straight to the refiner. Um, so I've got that going on. 
Um, let's also uh, let's build another refiner that breaks, um, let's say, seawater. Let's break seawater apart. Let me get some more seawater. I'm also going to build a storehouse. A storehouse here, connect everything with power and with roads. All right, so in my storehouse, I'm going to tell my storehouse to collect all the sand that's being produced and also all the um, silicon and oxygen that's being produced. So it's all going there. Um, for this refiner, I have it. Um, taking any salt water and breaking it down into uh, water and so let's do this. I'm going to take salt water. Is it backwards? There we go. So this is produce this will produce hydro or water. Then I can have my refiner tell my refiner to take everything and just drop it in the storehouse so once it produces things it goes directly to the storehouse so if i drag any more uh, salt water i'll just put it in the storehouse see what happens it should well, it produces salt and water and that goes to the storehouse so you can create systems here of um, refiners and combinators working in concert with one another to produce things. Um, and then over time, as you build your cities and other things, they will require additional resources. They'll need water and food and more advanced things over time. So you build a series of combinators, deconstructors to uh, put things together, break them apart, and you have to manage power um, and other other factors as you do this also without polluting so if i take this plastic waste and just drag it to the trash you see it just throws it into the ocean um, so over time we need to be cleaning up our res cleaning up our area so that our tiles are producing more resources and we're not constantly pulling up plastic or other things so that's the game um, that's the idea so let me know what your thoughts thanks